Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I want to wish a happy holidays to everyone watching this video. It is the holiday season, and that means that it's time for our top 10 board game gifts. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. And for those of you already subscribed, thank you so much for the continuous support. Let's start talking about the top 10 board game gifts. Now, I want to preface this by saying that the things that I'm about to explain here are not actually board games. I actually do not recommend giving board games as gifts to people unless you specifically know exactly what that person wants. There are some great features in the form of the wish list for Amazon where you can type out specific products that you want. You can get it down to the T, say, hey, I want this specific thing. Please get me this game. Or you can even give a whole wish list of games so you're not sure exactly what you want. So I do recommend that if you want a specific game because if you're watching this video, you probably are the one that is researching and learning and knows everything about board games and so you know exactly what you want and you know what you don't. There's also some great features on Board Game Geek. If you go to the collection here on the page, you can go to the sides where it says status and you can click where it says want wish list, want to buy, want to play. So you can mark specific games and then give people your username and say, hey, look me up. And those are the games that are actually on my wish list. So it's a great way to give people an idea of the exact games that you want, but I don't know who you are watching this video, so I don't have exact recommendations for each of you. If you are familiar with my tastes and you know what I like, go take a look at my top 100 board games of all time. The top 10, go buy those. Those are the games that I think are the best, obviously. Um, there are going to be some very specific list videos that I have. Got a whole playlist of those if you want specific game titles, but this video is about the general things. And one last thing on giving gifts uh, that are board games, I think that giving a gift as a board game can be pretty terrifying for somebody if they receive receive a gift, this is an obligation now that they have. They have to learn this gift, they have to read the rule book, and some rule books for games are really not the greatest or super long, and they can be very daunting, and you feel kind of bad if you get a gift from somebody, and maybe that gift, the game turns out to be something you really don't like, and then you're selling the gift or trading it, and it's, I think it's just not a situation that I like to find myself in. Uh, so I don't really recommend giving gifts, but if you are, use a feature like that Board Game Geek collection or the Amazon list feature so you can get exactly what you want. For me, my only game that's on my entire BGG want list is a new shrink copy of Star Wars The Queen's Gambit. So if you can uh, point me in the right direction for that, that'd be fantastic. But otherwise, uh, these are the top 10 things that I recommend. So let's go ahead and start with number 10. Number 10 is going to be board game promos. This is one of my favorite things to give as gifts because a lot of the times you know what games that people really enjoy and so you can buy a special promo for that game. It's awesome and there's constantly new promos coming out. Uh, BGG will send emails all the time saying, hey, we got these new promos in, new upgrades, and this is so cool. There's also some great options where you can do things like the Dice Tower promos instead of buying like the $50 promo package. If there was just one specific promo that you were waiting for, you can wait like a year and then eventually they will show up there. Uh, some that I do recommend, there's this awesome Atlantis Rising promo for the Orator, and this one here is a brand new character for the game. Awesome, so cool. And it even has the hologram card included that you can use. And then another promo that I really enjoy is the Nemesis Lockdown promos. Um, these are very similar to the standard Nemesis promos, which are also on the BGG store, and they give you objectives, achievements. There's even one that lets you crawl into the vents and makes that a public thing. I recommend these strongly. I think that particularly the gameplay content promos that are huge huge implications like these achievements are gigantic they give you objectives for the entire team to go for or the extra character really will increase the longevity of your game those promos are the best so you can definitely figure out what sort of promos your friends already have for their games and you can fill that spot with something unique and interesting so i love that this is my number 10 the board game promos now, my number nine is also going to go into games and these are the geek up bag sets now there are some geek up sets that are specific for games so there's like some for Altiplano, Castles of Burgundy. Uh, my favorite of the actually art version ones has to be the root bag sets. I think they're so nice. I just put all the components for root in there and they just really amp up the quality of the experience instead of the 
plastic bags that you would normally keep stuff in. So I think these are awesome. Uh, definitely superfluous, which makes them a great gift. But there are some really useful bags that you can get these microfiber drawstring bags. Uh, these have circular bottoms, so they're very easy to pull chips out of. I love these for when you are playing games that have like random draw piles. You can have a bag like this and just put all the tokens in there and you never have to shuffle those tiles again. They're in the bag, you set it on the table, there's no extra admin or setup. And you can also get even smaller ones with these standard microfiber drawstring bags and get them cheaper. So you can get a lot and getting like a set of 10 of these that would be an amazing gift in my opinion uh, so these are things that are super useful for games increasing that quality and the microfiber bags feel great to the touch and you've got this great um, synthetic material that feels wonderful as you're pulling the components out so i really like that you can choose a lot of different colors and i recommend these strongly so different sizes different colors whatever you need so that is my number nine the draw bags or random draw bags or even those specific art ones my number eight is going to go for the playmat lovers in your life this is the architect tubes as you can see we've bought this one before a couple of times uh, from this brand in particular and these are going to be a variety of poster tubes that are extendable so you can increase their size based on the mat's length. They are portable. They've got this strap on there that you can bring things around. And they have this awesome feature at the top here where you can unscrew the cap and then affix labels to them. I feature these a lot in my organizing videos because I use them. I think they're awesome. They have this great hard plastic case. They are very much quality and they're going to keep your play mat protected. They are on the bulky side, but I also love that you can color coat them. So you can pick like green or you can pick this yellow one. There's all different colors for different games so very much if you know the specific games that somebody is enjoying then you can pick a mat for the the play, the tube for the play mat that they know they're going to enjoy so you've got a lot of options here with colors but also it's going to be extendable so they could even use it for different games or switch it between for portability purposes so that's my number eight the architect tubes my number seven goes to one of my favorite accessories this is the control your roll dice tray in particular the neoprene rust play mat this one doesn't have any art this is from chip theory games it's a collapsible dice tray that has these buttons on the side there are a lot of companies that put these out but i really like this one it's perfect it's a good size i actually use it for some of my playthrough videos now and the way it works is you just roll your dice in there. You still get the freedom to roll the dice. You can toss them in there. Uh, it's not a dice tower where you're just dropping them and you get that sensation of rolling still, which I love, uh, but it avoids some of the other pitfalls of these dice boxes or trays where it does not have corners. So I did have this one for a long time that I used the control your roll dice tray, the bonded leather, but those sides, those edges, believe it or not, a lot of times the dice would fall and get stuck on those edges. And so you had to think, oh, is this real? Do I need to redo? They got to reroll everything. It was kind of a conundrum so by getting rid of the corners it really eliminated that guessing or that chance and it's got to be in there it's got to be flat and those corners make sure that nothing gets stuck so there's nothing there to get stuck in i really like these trays and there's also some with art so you can choose some based on your favorite games there's some for too many bones hoplomachus uh, it's up to you i bet i like this one because it doesn't have art so it doesn't fit for one specific game you can use it for all of them so that's the control your roll dice tray neoprene rust from chip theory games my number seven my number six is going to be uh, one of the more expensive ones, but not really. You can get them for as cheap as like 20 bucks. Uh, these are the Google Home Minis. And there's also some other variations to this. You can also get an Echo Dot uh, sitting at 20 bucks right now. So pretty dang cheap. Um, you can get these so quickly you just put them into your gaming area and they are going to be speakers that you can use to ramp up your gaming experience this was in my essential gaming accessories or essential game room things to have and i think that they make an awesome gift you put them in any room they link up to wi-fi which most people do have and then you're able to stream music and just ask it to play you things to bring out the theme for the different games that you're playing in particular spotify even has some playlists that you can access where they are built specifically for or board games level 99 has an entire soundtrack here for bullet one of my favorite games and i love being hey hey google can you please play the bullet soundtrack on spotify and it'll do that hopefully it didn't hear me <laughs> in the other room uh, it might start playing in the background oh dang hoping i get copyright striked i'll have to go stop it if that's the case <laughs>
Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> so that is my number six, the Google Home or the Echo Dot. Either of them works here. It's just for that ambiance soundtrack, and I think it works splendidly. And next up is my number five. These are metal coins. Now, there's a variety of metal coins that I enjoy, and most games have specific metal coins for them, but then there are other metal coins that you can use for every game. In particular, I really like the Stonemeyer Games metal doubloon coins here, the Libertalia coins. Not only can you use them in that game, but I use them in a lot of games. I use them in Terra Mystica, a lot of games that don't have specific currencies to them, but I do like keeping the artwork consistent between the different games as well. Now, there's a great company that I recently found out about called Modeus & Co., and they make board game metal coins that are specific to games, and they're incredible. I mean, look at these Feast for Odin metal coins. Let's just let's just zoom in here a little bit. You've got the, they fit exactly into the puzzle piece shapes that Feast for Odin has, and they give you plenty of currency for each. I think I legitimately am going to go buy a set of these right afterwards, just for the library in general. But they'll keep all of the artwork for the different games in mind, uh, from things like Brass to Concordia, Coup. How cool is that? Keeping the artwork and the theme of the coins as well. Great Western Trail, this is another one that I was looking at because they just look so good. They're perfect. And so this is a awesome company. They are a little strange in how you have to order them. Uh, they are very specific, so you have to give them specific quantities and then get like a quote for shipping to make sure that's something you're comfortable with. But um, it's a bit of a process, so I do say that you jump on these sooner rather than later, but I love how specific these coins are to their game. So you've got some generic coins with the Libertalia Stonemeyer coins, which at Pretty fair price, I think, 25 bucks, and you can buy several sets of these, or just a single set, and you can even use these in multiple games and just have them on the side, and they're just something that you move around, and we'll talk about that in a bit later, but I love metal coins. I think they work perfectly as gifts. They're going to upgrade any game that they're in. So that's my number five, metal coins. My number four is very similar to metal coins, except this is more akin to what I was talking about earlier with having one set of things that you use for many games, and this is the iron clays. So iron clays are a fancy poker chip and component that you can use for your games and we have them for brass and we use them for pretty much any game that uses large amounts of money and they, it's got this great magnetic box you've got your pieces and your components here that are uh, very nice quality they've got a great feel easy to pass around easy to count to manipulate uh, we use these for games like stockpile as well anything that has those large amounts of cash iron clays are going to do the job they bring this great presence and feel and i I don't know what it is about them. Just this, the tactile sensation of them is a bit more than the metal coins, in my opinion. I really like the way that these feel, and they do bring that sense of class to your game. So I really like these, but um, they tied for the spot, really, Iron Clays and Metal Coins. I barely gave the Iron Clays the nudge up. Uh, we do use them pretty frequently, though. I love Iron Clays. So another strong recommendation here from me. My number four is going to, or number three is going to Burger Tokens. I love these so much. Burger Tokens have upgraded so many of our games. Anytime that they release a new product, we make sure that, hey, can this actually fit in our library? They've got them for Summoner Wars, Arkham Horror, uh, Marvel. They've got them for the Lord of the Rings, the card game. In particular, the one that I use probably the most frequently, one of my favorite games, Marvel Champions, their tokens are so simple. They replace a lot of the cards in the game, so you just put a token out instead. They're double-sided, so they're great for reducing the clutter, so you're not having to find specific denominations. You just grab a token and flip it when you need to. Um, they're risen off of the table. The way that they work is they take a penny and they put stickers on the top and the bottom. You smash them on and you put them where you're at and that's it. They're simple, they're bright, they're vibrant, and they're easily read on the table. And that's the most important thing for an upgrade. Sometimes you'll get upgrades where they make the game board more clutter. They make it less useful to the players, but burger tokens are the exact opposite. I love the way that these tokens work. And if you have them for a game, perfect. And they're very easy to give as a gift because you know if that person likes that game once again. Uh, it'll be generally for lifestyle games or games with a variety of tokens. Like there are even some for Wingspan. Go figure. They're also really cool. This is not one of my recommendations, uh, but it is a recommendation kind of maybe an honorable mention. Uh, Burgle Tokens also makes these smaller deck boxes. They're perfect fit deck boxes. Uh, they're small plastic. I actually have some right here that we're using for some button shy games, but they're just small plastic deck boxes and they work perfectly. You're going to just hold everything nicely. You can see all the art still through inside. Love them. So the Burger Token boxes. You can pick as many as you want and free shipping. You're ordering. It's not $25 for one. It's 25 
$25 for $25 a piece. So great pricing on these as well. But that's my number three burger tokens, specifically the tokens in general. But if you like the deck boxes too, go for it. And my number two is going to the Kalsa Brain Games Spellground Playmats. Now these are playmats that I've used for a long time and I love them. I'll show you one that we recently got in. Um, decided it was time to grab a couple more. And this is just a standard playmat. It's going to be for your small card games generally, or they are perfect playing sizes for things like Imperial Settlers, Empires of the North, um, Paperback Adventures, Marvel Champions, the card game, Arkham Horror. I'm just thinking of games that I've used it with recently. But for your card games, anything that's going to be in generally a small square area, they are a set of playmats that are extremely high quality. I love the way that they feel. They allow you to play with sleeved and non-sleeved cards and effortlessly. They work perfectly with tokens. They give you a dented surface to where you can press on the playmat and reach and grab things. And they're portable. And I think it's one of their biggest strengths is you can just toss one of these in a board game bag and it is ready to go. Uh, generally, when I do buy these mats, I try to buy a lot at the same time. So that way it I have a stock to give as gifts. Um, I do a secret Santa with my family. So uh, hopefully they're not watching this. My dad might be. <laughs> but if they're watching this, uh, if, I, and if I ever get somebody for a secret Santa, I generally will give them one of these mats because I do think they're so awesome and they work perfectly for what they're trying to do. So they've they've got some new designs currently. They've got these. The one that I have right here actually is the Dark Mages collaboration with a PC, Player's Choice. And so they have that, which is lovely. I've been enjoying the beige one in particular. And then they also have some pre orders for these light blue and dark blue spell grounds so you can pre-order those uh, they are on the pricey side i'm not going to pretend they're not they are expensive mats they're about 50 bucks for the white one they are 75 i think for these these spell ground homage ones so they are very expensive but for quality i think they are top notch uh, we've got five of them in the library currently and then i've bought three or four that i am for myself that i'm going to give out as gifts so very excited to play more with these use them all the time this is going to be one of those gifts that's just constantly present in that person's life so those are spellground play mats incredible that's my number two but my number one is essentially the same thing but on a bigger scale these are going to be the gigantic play mats from board game tables i love these i received one of these as a gift personally and it's been something that I have continuously used the moment that I've received it. So these are these giant playmats, as you can see here, that fit an entire gaming table space. And if you are looking for something to get, you can even get it down to the T so the entire surface is covered. There are several sizes, small, medium, and large, that fit all sorts of different table spaces. And these are probably the most expensive mats. Actually, they're kind of the same price as the homage ones. Uh, but they are going to be gigantic neoprene mats for your table. And they're perfect. The way that they are stitched on the edges means that nothing is going to be frayed. They have their own carrying cases, so they do work very well in that situation. Many different colors. We have a blue one currently. Uh, I think I am in the market, though, to look for a new one. I might get one of those uh, maroon ones. They look so good. Uh, but it's nice to grab a generic blank playmat because then you can use it for every single game. I actually prefer using a standard table and a great playmat instead of something like a gaming table. It gives me a lot of flexibility with the way that I'm running things. I can maneuver it as I see fit. I'm not locked into a specific size. So I really love these gigantic playmats. I can't recommend them enough. They're my biggest recommendation. Um, they give you the sensation of a high quality experience for every single game you play. They're upgrading every single game experience you own. A very similar vibe with the Spellgrounds here with your smaller games. The large playmats though are going to do it for every game. Yeah. Will there be something as big as a the Scythe Gigantic Ultimate Edition with the extra game board? It's going to be fine on one of these mats. It's still going to be able to be played. And I love that about them. Uh, nothing is restrictive and you can go as high detail as you want to make sure that you're getting that specific size. There are a couple of other websites that make custom. I don't have them here. I'll put a link in the description below if I can find them. But there are some websites that will give you bigger gamer spaces outside of the 3.5 by 5.5 feet. So there are companies that are specific for those larger areas. But you know, I think that board game tables, I've used them, I love them, and they are my strongest recommendation for gifts. So there are, they even have links. I'll leave links in the description below for everything that I talk about here, but I can't recommend these enough. My favorite, the large table play mats from board game tables. Amazing. So that's it. Those are my top 10 board game gifts for this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm curious to hear what you think about these recommendations. And what do you think I'm made 
opinions for gifts in general. Do you like giving getting board games as gifts if you've never heard of them before? <laughs> it's to me it's it's still pretty terrifying whenever I get a board game from somebody because I'm like, I pretty much buy everything that we need for the library, so uh, this clearly wasn't on my radar. It wasn't something that I was interested in. It's stressful to me, so I'm curious to hear what you think. Obviously, a gift is awesome in general, so even being thought of is a wonderful feeling, a wonderful emotion, but I'm curious to hear what you think about it in general and what you think about these recommendations that I've given. Have you used any of these before and anything like that? I'd love to hear what you think. Now, really quickly, I did mention that I would mention two games. If you haven't bought it already, if you know somebody's going to like it, get them Blood on the Clock Tower. This is awesome. It's the best game right now. And then the other recommendation, if they are not getting in big groups, get a Marvel Champions the card game it's for two or less that'd be my recommendation if you got a group of six or more blood of the clock tower if you got a group of two or less marvel champions that's my recommendation for games so if you stayed this long a little bonus treat for you there you actually got two games that you can go buy too on top of the things that i actually recommend so, <laughs> so those that's it those are my top 10 board game gifts and thank you so much for watching side game strong